If you are on the roads today, you might notice some buses carrying runners from here in Boston over to Hopkinton. WBC's Katrina Kincaid as, uh, on Boston Common this morning as the runners are sort of making their way there to get onto the buses to start the big day. Katrina? Absolutely, Liam and Kate. I mean, I blinked again. It's like people tripled here on the common. This is really, I was talking to some runners where the anticipation starts. You're just waiting for the buses to get on. That first bus will leave at 6.45. That's when it's scheduled to. The last bus is scheduled to leave at 9 a.m. Now, the BAA's charity running program, that is expected to reach a milestone this year. New one, the program has raised more than $460 million over the last 34 years. Just this year, they estimate that they will raise more than 40 million, bringing that total to past the half billion mark. The money goes towards many community based charity organizations. Now, yesterday, race participants, guests, and celebrities gathered at MGM Music Hall for the 10 Year Stronger event hosted by the Greg Hill Foundation. Embracing the Boston Strong message, the goal was to raise a million dollars. We spoke with some runners this morning about why they love this race. You come out, you have cheers the whole way, 26, you know, 0.2 miles. So you can't beat that. You can't find that anywhere else. So, um, you know, it's a race that I know I can run fairly well just with the crowd supporting me. <laughs> Now, there are many reasons why people run this race. We've talked to a few of them, some people here in the U.S. for the first time, but everyone's just here right now waiting to load those buses. And let me tell you the excitement. You can just feel it in the air here. In Boston, Katrina Kincaid, WBC News. All right, Katrina, thank you.